This is what we've all been waiting for, isn't it? How to Photoshop our friends' faces onto babies in a convincing way. So I see a lot of this kind of thing where it's pretty close. It's enough to really creep your friends out and everyone else on Facebook. Uh, there's just one extra thing that needs to be done to make this extra convincing, and I'll show you how to do that right here. So let's start with this baby and this guy. So I've taken some care to make sure that the lighting conditions are sort of similar. So like shadow wise, there isn't a bunch of dynamic, weird shadows, dramatic shadows on his face because the baby, you know, he's got, he's fairly well lit in the front. So I'm going to take this image as big as I can get it. I'm going to take just a screenshot of this real quick and sloppy. And then I'm going to bring that into Photoshop and I'll try to get this more centered so you can see what I'm doing. And now I will place that and let's hit number four on the keyboard. So that's just going to get me a transparent layer to somewhat line it up. It doesn't have to be even close. You just have to like get the head roughly in shape for now. And then I'll hit zero again. That brings it back to full opacity. And then on the layers, let's bring that layers over as you can see what's happening. I might have to rasterize that and then I'm going to mask it out. So now there's a layer mask. I clicked this guy here and with the brush tool, I'll press B and then with black selected, I can now paint, uh, I can erase my buddy's face here. Let's make this brush a little bigger with the right square bracket and start erasing and it's not this is called lossless editing where I'm I'm just painting the stuff out I'm not using the eraser I'm just uh, I'm painting and masking out the layer and it's kind of creepy looking already um, I just want the mouth and the eyes I don't need his chin cuz I'm gonna oh I might need it to cover up the baby's mouth but let's do something like this so now you can see like really quickly it's already close enough to being on the baby's face here the shadows are sort of blending that's fine and now most of the work uh, to make this look convincing is going to be just in matching the tones so you hold down command uh, let's see M and that gets you your curves and by dragging this you'll see if you're getting closer or farther from what you want Curves isn't going to help me at all, so I'm going to go with the. Do, 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 what's this? I want the dodge tool because he's too dark. If he was too light, you use the burn tool for this. You know what? I have that wrong. You want that the other way around. Burn tool. Let's see if that worked. It doesn't seem to be working either. I think I had it right the first time. Dodge tool. Zero. Gonna brighten this up, or is that gonna darken it for us? It doesn't seem to be working. It seems to be making it too. Oh, you know why? I'm on the wrong layer here. Completely. You want to click over to your photo. Yeah. So if you have it on this mask, it's just do it's just dodging out the black paint you just did. You need to click over onto your photo. Yeah, that's more what I want to happen. Look how creepy that is already. I hate it. So yeah, the dodge tool is gonna get you closer to the actual tones that you're working with. And then there's a lot of red weirdness happening in here. We can change that with Command U. And then we'll take the hue. You can change the hue to whatever you like, but it looks like skin tone is going to be pretty close. It's sort of a pinkish. Uh, and then the saturation, we'll bring that down. And just you can slide this until it matches, right? But for this, we're going to bring it saturation down because there's too much red. I can actually go into the reds and take that saturation a little out. But this is much closer to something super creepy and disgusting. And I can put this on Facebook and really freak him right out. Uh, lightness, let's be careful with that. Ooh, lightness is really getting it closer, isn't it? Okay, so already... It's really the hue saturation palette that you're going to be getting the closest results that are going to help you. Oh, wow. That was dramatic. Let's get out of that. Uh, go back to master, saturation can come back up a bit. 
All right, so that's pretty close. Um, and then maybe some cloning. So the last thing I'll do maybe is... Uh, yeah, those reds are still bugging me, so I'm going to take the reds out. A bit more saturation down. Yeah, I like that better. And uh, what's the last thing I want to do here? Maybe just kind of fade. There's some, like, darkness happening on the side of the head here. So I'll flatten this by going... I like to save these layers, so I'm going to copy them by dragging them on there, selected. And then I'll hide those, because I might still want to edit them later. These ones I'm going to merge by doing uh, Command Shift Command E, merges them into one thing, and then I can then zoom in and just sort of fine tune some of this stuff with uh, the clone stamp, which is just t hit S and then hold down Option and find the part you want to clone. And you can uh, just sort of gently grab some skin and smooth in these areas. Yeah, and down here the chin's kind of weird, but you know, for Facebook purposes, no one's gonna care. You just want your friend to look creepy and babyish, right? Yeah, so that's already like a really nasty looking baby friend. Um, so yeah, anyway, back to the most important part, command U. This palette here, hue saturation, is gonna make the difference between uh, a really convincing baby friend and a, f a bunch of baby friends where the faces are a different tone than the body of the, the baby. So if that helped you uh, freak your friends out, then uh, hit the thumbs up, and if you really liked it, subscribe. Thanks.